well, that's the kind of main thing that's missing from this game as a whole, I would say. Boo? Like, this game could have benefited from December League mechanics, right? Um, and I know people have, like, busted it out, but it's too late now. It's just simply not how this game's work. Uh, which is why it would have been cool if they added, like, every enemy that is actually, like... Well, that's what I mean. It should come in the form of, of new enemies. Like, it's like, you know, what would you add it to? How granny would you get? You wouldn't want it. Yeah, but you, you wouldn't just have need it, so you it. can shoot a grunt's mouth off. Is that, is that what you're getting at? Well, you, you wouldn't be able to do that because how can you shoot a mouth? Um, but you would be able to shoot their legs up, and it would slow them down and stuff like that, right? Um, but it's too late for that kind of shit. And they probably weren't actually it's not skilled too enough late. back then. It's just that it would be such a large task that it's probably not really. Feasible well, yeah, because you would need to add it. That is for every single Tom, enemy. That's what makes it too late. <laughs> I mean, they could implement it slowly. So I don't think well, they, they could have most maybe just started really. with this detail, but they just yeah. clearly don't feel like there's a need for that. So that would be like a really cool thing to do. It, it just it feels nice like, they, like it, they take it's armor off. Like, that's really yeah. nice as a thing, but Which I think it's not cool if you could like, then like, like target more and stuff. Is there like Katie in relation to that? Like, like, you know, there is December League, because it, it feels like you should be able to in a game like this. Like, ultimately, when enemies are this simply designed and this, like, like, done, right, you could so easily just take them apart, like, yeah, if you made I mean, it a model so of them, then you're so disassemblable. Yeah, they already like, are disassemblable with their, with their armor, like, you, they can quite yeah. easily be, but the, all of the, the frames are blocky and the frames are all, like, the same sort of shit, aren't they? Yeah, it, it would be very easy to take them apart. Which why it feels like design wise they should be able to, but ultimately you can't, so. Yo, shut your annoying oh, fucking you bitch, Haggis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your shifts. Your shifts. <laughs> I, well, I don't know how I would know who they are. That's so mean. Sorry, <laughs> Kim. <laughs> what? It's fine, if you bully her, you just. You're just. You're fated to get really medically obese and then die. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about dismemberment. Is it too late? It's just that how many enemies benefit with dismemberment system? Yeah, as yeah, in it could be a cool system from the start, it, like, but I don't think. Guards. Well, shooting like slashes like um talons. Like, en enemies that have specific parts of them that are important. Yeah, I think that could be done. Basically, those ones like, it should be implemented taking them some out low level. Them. Yeah, but, but like, it, like slasher, you don't. You take out, you yeah. shoot their arms, and you could like. But realistically, if you shoot their arms a bunch, it will, it will lower their effectiveness and then yeah. they'll fall off. But I think you, you've definitely got to see the point here in that how much would you sh be able to shoot those arms to knock them off, right? And would it be easier to just shoot it in the face and it kill it? It would basically because be... Because it probably would be, right? It could almost be, it, no, it, it could it, almost be it, not a bad idea like if it would be a new thing. type of like damage or something that gets put in certain upgrades or overclocks or it's like... I don't know what you, what you would call it. It could actually be tied to pierce damage, actually. Um, you could tie it to something that they exists, would, but would not have it. bring a whole new level of like class, though, as well, like opportunity of, of, of build, where you could have stuff that specialises in body part removal. Oh, this box is pretty packed, <laughs> today. Well, I would argue that, um, and it's obviously not body part removal, but as far as disabling without killing goes, cryo is essentially already that. Um, mm. I I don't know. It's just. Um, yeah, but you could have it on characters that that wouldn't necessarily be like it wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily always be your primary way of killing them or even your primary way of killing them ever. It'd just be that you'd be shooting them and you wouldn't be hitting them in the head because maybe they're blocking it with their arms or whatever, and then their arms are going to become less effective because of it. So at least you get something from it. And I it guess just a lot would, of it would it would add a nice depth to the game. Because a lot of it is constructed. A lot of it's constructed real. in a way to like make it so that doing those things that makes it kill them anyway. I think spread is a good example actually. Take spreader and Praetorian and warden for example. It seems like it all comes from the weak point. Like the warden's whatever the fuck it's doing is fucking magic coming from the weak point. So much like the Praetorian is keeping all of its toxic shit inside its ass, which is its weak point. Same with the spreader. Destroying that kills them basically so there's no need for you to yeah but you could always like shoot the big ones legs or whatever and kill them slow them down like that would even just be a decent way of doing it that would be i think a whole lot simpler 
just you, they shoot your legs a bunch or you shoot their arms a bunch. Also, or I don't you shoot think their they would arms, want you. Attack, hold on, because their I, attacks are slower. That's too simple, effective. though. That's too simple. I don't and think they would want you to be able to slow things down without having slow down effects. I think and ultimately, I think there is enough slow down effects in the game anyway, right? The amount of weapons that have fear or stun or you know any of the other ones is all of them. I think every gun has access to at least one way of slowing enemies down or like fucking them up. Like, ultimately, I think, yeah, you could half ass the design in that you shoot their arm, they have, like, a damage debuff. You shoot their legs, they have a speed debuff, right? You shoot their face, they have an accuracy debuff. They, they can fucking miss you, right? Uh, like, some bullshit like that. But ultimately, that's not changed the fact that they look like you would be able to actually remove those body parts. Like, I think that's the main thing. Like, genuinely, I think it would have been preferable if you, you kill their arms, but it doesn't really do anything, right? Like, they can still attack you just and do just as much damage, but it would just look like they've been dis disassembled, right? I think <laughs> I, it, it would have worked. I mean, literally, like, over here, hey, the fucking arm is just torn off here, isn't it? <laughs> they have the fucking arm just chilling here mm. you know, in this file. And, like, they would just come flying off while you're fighting a horde and stuff. You know? Very nice. Instead of, like, having them, they have them having less armor, they'd have, like, only a couple limbs. <laughs> Also, we got that with the prospect. It's, it's done deliberately in certain in certain um, enemies. Like the prospector has weak points that you destroy, and it actually gets slower. <laughs> so, but it's like that stuff exists. Yeah, it's they just really not added it done to like rivals everything. for some reason. Uh, well, even like the nemesis. Yeah. Although once again, though, with the nemesis, it didn't go hard enough. You should have been able to kill those arms, right? Like, I don't know. It's just, it seems to be like a, a part of well, it, game design I, that they I, I don't, don't seem to value. I like a natural thing to want from like zombies, even like when you turn them into like, um, it, is, it isn't Ballers. similar in that way because it is co op against AI and you train them a lot and then like, yeah. It feels like you just want to be able to, you know, a zombie, you've got one left and you use the strategy of disabling one of them to keep the round going. But, but zombies like, is they, just they're, they're zombies, just... though. That's the only enemy type, really, for like the majority of the time. It's the only enemy type in zombies, just the zombies. And they're proportionally stronger than grunts, I would say, from the start, even compared to a Hazard 5 grunt. Yeah, and the Hazard 5 I, grunts I just are just, they, they, they they're nothing still. They're just tissue paper. You know, like, ha could, you could disable them or change the way they are to benefit you in some way. Um, and the only way I can, I'm can, i thinking of off the bat is the obvious one of yeah, just, but this um, is a better mechanic in games where you don't have this is always a better mechanic you could in games have where you don't have upgrades though or to like, use them or something like that it, it's almost a better mechanic like, in the game where you are like, a, a flat power level the whole time but in deep rock obviously you, you flatten out eventually but we only because we have all the options available to us including loads of different slowdown and crowd control effects that sort of perform its function it's better in games where you are like just a static character playing through something else playing through like a story mode or something where this stuff makes more sense or like zombies where you can get stronger weapons and stuff but you're, you're you don't really get particularly stronger overall um but it's not outside of the matches themselves yeah um it, it's just sort of we, we already have this these mechanics in some examples of enemies anyway for the most part like you know you, d you shouldn't be able to slow down a grunt by shooting their leg off because grunts are just so goddamn weak in the first place they're not meant you don't deal with them in that way, you just kill them. Yeah. Well, maybe at least then, like, just ignoring... I still think it, something could be done for the smaller enemies, maybe just cosmetic, like Tyler was saying. That would still be really cool, and I'd, I'd be happy with if that. If they get, like, more bits shot but, off like, of them, like, literally on holes larger from enemies, them stuff, it would cool. add another levels to their to their fighting if you could disable them. Well, they're yeah, the ones well, that slow down effects are more valuable of, against them, you, aren't they? Well, yeah, these, exactly, these but now you could do it in another way. The ones and it might not be very them, effective they... until you actually make a build for doing damage. Like the projectile size um, or velocity could affect it. I just don't thing. think they want you to be able to disable bigger enemies without you, without using things that specifically do that. I don't think they like. I don't think they want you well, to do there, that with any weapon. Has, there has never been a specific good enemy that uh, disabling them made much sense. Right, where d disabling mm. them would be easier than killing them. Essentially, I think the only one I, I mean, can think of is like. Um, pain, well, first of all, actually, there is technically an example of this in Game of Thing. The Goo Bomber does get disabled if you destroy the weak one. Um, 
so they were, I guess, playing around with it early on. Like, but, like, not many like, enemies. Um, no. It will benefit you to turn them off in a certain way, right? Like, it's just not really a thing until the Sting Town. Because normally all the other enemies you could kill before they really become an issue, or killing them essentially was yeah, the quickest, the easiest solution. Was quite difficult but the Sting Town is very difficult to kill. Um, like it, 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 in the amount of time that you would need to, but ultimately its tail feels like it's very easy to hit, right? So it's got the main threatening part is mm. right there, easy to hit, but you can't normally, do anything about it. Normally that would be the weak point for most enemies. Yeah. It's also not. Yeah, it's, it's fine not that they've done point. that, but they do need to think of solutions. Which I mean, that, 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 the thing that was the entire reason why this conversation has sparked up is that we we were yeah. just thinking of possible solutions to. It's very unbalanced. I mean, I think, you know, there, there is potential for... Uh, there is still potential for this in the pre-existing enemies anyway. Like, like almost for, like, shell bats, they probably shouldn't be able to roll as well if they don't have their armour, right? Because that's almost like yeah, treads. Probably. You know, their armour's almost like treads. I feel like they would be worse at it without their armour, or even not be able to roll at all, because they just can't... Or maybe they just get damaged while they roll, because they've lost their um, health hide. Yeah. So you could actually just strip all the armor off, and then it'll kill itself over time. Doesn't um bolt detonators? But doesn't do they actually release less balls if you, when you shoot the balls when you pop the balls? Or is that not a thing? I really don't think so. I think that's just something we've just thought it would make sense. Yeah. So I think they actually have done it in a couple times where it makes sense, but not all of them. I think that was the main offender though. But you you can't have this on every enemy. It doesn't almost doesn't suit having that as a base mechanic does not suit a game with like a lot of enemies because then they if they all share that thing, they suddenly become a lot more homogenized basically. Um, suddenly everything becomes more similar to each other than it should be. You just got to do it anyway, considering you could not. I, I mean, something I do kind of believe in still though is like shooting the wings off my terrors and things like that. I think maybe disassembling might be too far. But interrupting if you're getting shot in a certain place might be something. Like that would be that would be really What would like essentially be a stun? Yeah, yeah, stuns. Yeah, stun, like, they had stun points basically. That is definitely yeah. something they should do. Like a countering uh, mechanic essentially. Yeah, you need well, help. With, with, with how many? Like, because we we have obviously complained about like the absolute devastating abilities of some of the enemies, yeah. like slashers, acid spitters. Um, the new uh, stingers and this kind of stuff, like, they are just so problematic due to their immense, that you could then actually counter them, like, actually counter them, you know, and that would balance everything way better if you could just shoot the, the, the right part and that would disable it for, like, five seconds, maybe. Yeah, like, not the whole enemy, but just the main example of this attack or in a reduced is, is a, when the sting tail is throwing its tail at you, you can shoot the tail before it reaches you. It like snaps it back and it's like it stops it essentially. Yeah. And then maybe it like, or, like you it can screams see it, and you shoot so. it. You shoot it to, to save your teammate or something. Like mm. then it actually counters some of those well, really it'd be a lot harder problematic you to do that. enemies. Because yeah, like it's not going to be easy to shoot you. It. It's going to be quite easy. Fly, if you were there, know where it is and can turn to it. And Send shoot. The yeah. Because right there's no, there's no level of skill you can deal with those those enemies. Those problematic yeah. enemies. You, like, need you can be the best player the in the only world, way and you can still deal with it. You still can't deal with it. The only way to not get fucked over by the first grabbing of a sting uh, tail is to have cryo. Yeah. Anything else, and you essentially won't be able to kill it in time. Uh, in I think, he, I'm not point, even, I think even a fat boy is probably not good work. at the game yeah. to be able to avoid it afterwards. It's not easy, yeah. is it? Rebbe, you're saying Sting Tails can grab grenades. I'm not sure if that's true. They can grab blurs. I don't think they can. I've seen them try and do it and it didn't work. Well, they tried to do it. Yeah, he tried. So they tried. They should, obviously. But honestly, because it would be so cool if they could. Because that's an honestly, I don't see it really often at all. Maybe because I don't really use lures. But the fact that um, bacteria grabbers can pick them up. like uh, at, And same with the um, nemesis. nemesis. The, like, the, uh, the Sting Tails should actually be able to throw the lure around. That's just cool. That would change the dynamic a little bit. That would actually be useful. 
genuinely, because it would probably help that the lure stay alive. Help lures. Yeah. yeah. Don't do anything can then run the, over yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. We're onto something with the um, that. The counter mechanic. The count counter mechanic. Well, yeah, because like we it, like the sting tail, but this is the one thing that we agree that it's missing, and it's also it would help the, the lot of people who don't like it as well. Um, yeah. It's really yeah. good, but it's it's kind of a bit. It increases strong. the skill cap of the game as well. Yeah, that's you're someone that's, that's quick so on reaction and quick on like good on accuracy. The game will actually like reward that greatly by making some enemies that even with those things are an issue. Yeah, um, while just become for the people not that. who are worse, it doesn't change anything. The enemy is still yeah. just as what it was now, which is which is always good because enemies are people who. Like a more knowledgeable or um, and better at the are, game are rewarded for their skills. There are very slight it, like elements of that mechanic, with the spitball the projectile being destroyable. I like mm. that, vaguely like that. Right? And that if you're quick enough, if you're sharp enough, you can hit and destroy the spitball of projectile. The only issue is not everything can, and it's really annoying for the, for some things. You know what's um, something I think should definitely be a thing because I like I can't remember exactly. There's a really good example of this, and I can't quite remember what it is though. Um, oh, I think it might be the Kaka demon from Doom. So you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, if you manage to throw a grenade, because obviously the, the Brood Nexus has weak points, it has destructible ones, so they don't really do anything. I think you should just like throw grenades inside it. If you can get it in the mouth, and that would like insta kill it, and probably kill all the things inside it too at the same time. Um, that's just I an think example. That, that may be a different issue, because I think those, you know, the Brood Nexus and the, the Bitball are needed for doing anyway. Although they clearly they don't want to do that anymore, doesn't matter, they still should. Yeah. yeah. It's dumb. I think the Spitball is alright because it's, it's weak points. It needs a redesign. Yeah, the yeah. Spitball yeah. mainly needs a redesign. Um, yeah. I would the really love it to be just kind of a massive bullet sponge. It's kind of annoying. Well, I'm still a big fan of the Spitball actually being retconned into being a call up um, enemy. Honestly, yeah. Remodeled to look more like a call up. Then it like wow. it's suddenly like actually the part of that instead of just being its own random thing that doesn't, you know, not that there aren't things that don't make sense, but I feel like that would still be a good thing to change, maybe. Otherwise, I wouldn't really see the point in redesigning it either, actually, unless you're going to do something like that, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, so, so we need to get some uh, some devs to listen to, uh, you know, we'll just call up all the Well, devs I know I'm going to maybe actually try a little bit, and I'm going to, obviously I'm not recording this, this stream, but I might actually try and capture this conversation, and then I can actually be more precise as well. Um, so summarise it at the beginning of what the problem is, is that there are problematic enemies that you can't deal with often just because of circumstances and that's not really the way nobody likes in a game where something goes wrong and you die and there's nothing you could have done about it that's not <laughs> arguably no cave beach is also quite well. like it but you can you use need like to consensus. catch a cave beach um, yeah that, that's the thing but not, not like I didn't mean actually like that I meant like the other thing Cave Reach, you need to catch it quick enough. You need to counter it before it hits you. Yeah, like they're really pretty slow, it, really at grabbing, and they're not that quick at doing it. They're like actually yeah. locking on you. And if they take any sure. damage, don't they back off? Yeah. Really yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, that's why they're not that bad. And obviously there's a perk to deal with them, and if you have multiple teammates, it's kind of alright. But they just, they have a counter, so it's okay. But this thing was the biggest example of that, where it doesn't have a way to deal with it by, by skill. It's just luck. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And so you can just be like playing the game, get grabbed, there's nothing you've done about it because you couldn't see it, and now you're dead because you're in the middle of a horde. Mm. And that's not what's right I mean, fun in a game. Yeah, I mean, there is, there is a certain amount of people that are just like skilled everywhere. Like, like genuinely, like they're like the the, the spitter, uh, 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 the stinger rather. It is not hard to deal with. You guys are just all terrible. Mm. And I think there is an element to that. Like I think if you if you entirely focus on it, you can outskill it essentially. But like, I think you um you basically when you hear the the noise, like stand still, or like 
just like radically change a path or something like that because it is predicting where you're heading to. Mm. And it's like people that read yeah, the, what about people the that fact you can do that and not got their audio on max fucking volume. Yeah. It, well, like, fast it, it, hold on. Um, Isn't it you like if you don't know where it is, you don't else. know which way is like the other way essentially. If it's directly above you, it doesn't really give a well, shit. Well, the thing is, it, it could be like the grabber effect where like obviously you know you could still have your audio too quiet, but the grabber is pitched so it's um. No matter where it is, it's always louder than everything else in game. Um, like a deliberate decision. Yeah, yeah, they could do that. So you, so it, the noise is, is obvious. You can hear it, like you can hear it, and actually make it so that's the thing that if you did a certain thing or like jumped or whatever, I don't know. But or if you turned around and shot it in time to disable it when you hear that noise. I mean, like, it, ah, would be, it would feel so Could good you, if power attacking the tail to deal with the situation. when it's coming towards you, destroy the tail. It would still pose a threat then, wouldn't it? You'd still have to stop what you're doing, drop it, and try and solve that problem before you then go back to facing the horde, which is still going to be me dancing around a horde while you're trying to deal with this, like, dodge and jump and shoot the other guy, shoot this, this thing yeah. But it's still going to pose a, a unique threat, and if you don't do it, it's obviously going to be catastrophic still. Catastrophic. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. The grabber is, will always make a sound though when it's about to come dead. Like it is silent most yeah. of the time, that's true, but it still communicates when it's coming. Yeah. Because it flies around all the time, but then you hear the noise and you're like, oh, it's going to grab someone. Might be me. When it, when it matters, around. it plays a sound. Like, it doesn't, it's like, a grab, if a grabber is gra trying to grab, it doesn't matter if it's making a sound or not. I could use your drilling skills. Yeah, well, I wasn't eating biscuits because I got really hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> then I just grabbed a drink, and now I have a cat um, who uh, doesn't like How's when Rupert I'm doing? not petting right. him with both hands. We haven't seen Rupert since last night. He's perished. <laughs> Rupert's perished. He's been consumed by Nelly. Yeah. How how bad would you all feel if you if like, there was a, th a pair post that appeared? And that there was like a, you know, an orange cat found. Dead. How, yeah, <laughs> how traumatized do you think you'd, you'd all? All right, well, I know I'm going to end the video now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. It's good. <laughs> it's good.